to place ligature ties, you want to squeeze the tip. You want to make, grab it at the end and make a bend slowly up to where it's curved a little bit so it snugs the bracket. Then you want to make a 90 degree bend just like that. And then when you're in the mouth, the midline from here over, you always want to place the stainless steel wire this way. And if it's from here over, you want to place it the opposite way. So this way. So you want to pull it close to the to the bracket and you want to pull make it snug go make sure it's under all four corners and then you want to twist a couple times so it stays in place grab your mouth out make sure you have both ends of the stainless steel wire hold the ends with your hand so they don't fly in the patient's eyes and you want to twist, 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 twist until you see it tighten. And when you're on a patient, you can move a little bit. And if you see their head shake, you know you're good. And you let go. And now I'm going to do the other one. So you want to squeeze. Make a small bend at the end and a 90 degree bend. You gotta go in towards the other side. Make sure it's snug. Make sure it's under all corners. And twist. It's easier on a patient because you don't have to hold the actual mouth, but and you want twist, 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 twist. Little shake, you're good. Ta da! Now I'm gonna cut the excess wire, and you can either do one by one and cut one by one. Depends on what makes you work easier, I guess. But I'm, I like to do them all at once because it saves some time. So you want to cut enough to where you can tuck it under but not too long so it doesn't stick out anywhere. Which I'll show you once I tuck it in. What are you using to cut it? This is a straight cutter. And then so I want to be about... About that long and then you want to grab and then you want to grab the scaler and you want to use this end of the scaler first to push down the little excess wire and kind of guide it under the wire you gotta be easy gentle because they can feel all this same thing with the other one. And then once you got it low, you will use the other end of the scaler. And you want to tuck it in closer to the bracket. So it's not in their way. See? Now you can't see it. And, and why wanna... would you use a stainless steel ligature tie versus the plastic or elastic? Well, the wire's a little stronger, obviously, since it's not plastic. And we use it to keep the tooth where it is, just gliding along the wire instead of rotating side to side or up or down or whatever. Um, whenever we use power chains, which are these, 
we always want to put stainless steels to avoid them from rotating teeth. Unless we want them to rotate, then we wouldn't place a stainless steel.